You know, I was in the post office the other day, and while I was waiting in line, I was looking at this young woman. She was probably about 20, and I was looking at how rounded her shoulders were, and I thought, wow, she's way too young to have shoulders that look like that. But if you look around, you see a lot of young people with rounded shoulders. So I started wondering, what's going on in the world to cause this structural devolution? Sure, they're a generation of heads stuck in their phones, and that definitely has an impact on a developing structure. But maybe it goes deeper than that. And maybe the lines between the structural effects and the effects on the soul become more blurry. Why don't they seem to want to look up? I'm sure there are lots of reasons, but maybe part of it is because they've been taught that the world is too scary, that they need to be protected. Maybe they've learned that it's safer to hide inside the virtual worlds of their phones, that it's safer to hide even from themselves than it is to face the world. What does it mean when a person's shoulders are rounded? Is it just the effect of gravity? Or is it a way of protecting the heart? When you turn in on yourself, when your structure turns into a shell, it's doing its best to protect you, to keep you from feeling the hurt that is inevitable in real human connections. But when we try to protect ourselves, when we isolate our hearts, the hurt we're trying to avoid is replaced with another kind of hurt, a worse kind. The kind that is lonely, depressed, and anxious. The kind that tells you the world is meaningless. This is what happens when we replace real connections with virtual ones. And it's part of the reason young people are suffering so much. And it's not just young people. It's everyone. And it's not just because of our phones. We all need connection. Need, not want. It's what gives our lives meaning. And even if you convince yourself that these virtual connections are real, your soul doesn't lie. It knows why you're suffering. Connection. It's what gives our lives meaning. But it can't be found in safety. It can't be found by hiding. And it can't be found without putting your heart on the line. Now, there's a lot of ways to open your heart to become more brave, to have a life that's more meaningful in spite of the suffering. But I think if we want to develop real connections, real relationships, real meaning, why not start with the most real part of you, your own body? And that's where structural integration comes in. You know, Ida Rolf said, we are not upright We are only on our way to being upright. And structural integration speeds that process along. When we're upright, when our structure has changed, when our shoulders aren't rounded, when we start to look at the world before us, we get more brave. We stop trying to protect our hearts. We let go and our hearts are strengthened. And when we're brave enough to allow this change to happen, When we finally have enough space inside ourselves, we allow real love and real connection to find us.